Hello and welcome back Commanders and Commanderettes. Chesty Puller here with a video on the Survivor 1000 Omega Chopper company base. This is for the new event, Shattered Alliance. And uh, you get uh, Omega Chopper company parts for this base. Once again, I'm pretty much going to be using just one platoon, but I have a, a number of other platoons there. Uh, just in case I need something, but it's primarily just one platoon that I'm using. If you do not have Nick, Nick is probably one of the greatest uh, units that we currently have because uh, one of his, uh, he already has a great range, and one of his um, workshops is that he has an additional 50% uh, percent range. If you get his hero, workshop you can have the 50 percent range plus have the ability to shoot ground and in that case um, you know there's nothing that has the range of Nick he can shoot both ground and uh, air avalanches without uh, getting too near I was just retreating there to uh, get rid of the uh, green mark that was on everything because I gave them all numbers. You can do this base a little bit faster if you don't mind taking a little bit of damage, but I just wanted to do it with uh, free repair, as in most of my videos, that's what I do. You do have to be careful of the railguns here. There's a couple of ways to get to them. Um, I prefer to do it this way. Um, what I do is I, I go around the railgun and then uh, clear out some things in the back here. And then I block the um, tower, which has a lot of anti-air in it. Um, a lot of the new anti-air. And uh, then I can come in with air and take out the, uh, the rail gun. I do this on both sides. My strategy is to take out the middle part, take out the left side, take out the right side, and uh, work on the chopper company uh, bosses. You will have to be careful. Uh, most of the chopper company... Um, is pretty easy the I think that there's like different levels of chopper company um, out of the five one of them is like a boss and uh, the others have varying levels of uh, strength and so be careful of the boss one though just kind of look you'll be able to see which one is the boss one he's bigger he's meaner looking and uh, if you get him you'll see how I take care of him because he literally uh, can can do about half damage to my uh, to my Nick and I don't want to wait around for Nick to be repaired um, I've never lost Nick but I think Nick takes about an hour to repair and uh, he can do like 20 or 30 minutes worth of damage to Nick if you let him uh, get to you and you can't run away from him he's faster than Nick so uh, he catches up to Nick the other ones the, they can't catch you the drones or whatever you want to call those other chopper companies they they can't uh, they can't catch Nick but the the boss chopper company he can so again here I'm gonna bring in my air and you'll see uh, just how
if they can take a lot of damage and then your sharper company doesn't take any damage, that would be great. Like I said, don't do that with uh, the main guy. It will not work out well. In this, you do have to kill every building and every unit. It's not really a boss fight base where you can kill the boss. Otherwise, I'd, I'd only clear half the base and then kill the, uh, kill the boss. I don't know why this guy was uh, not following me. He's uh, not very aggressive at all. I mean, I'm shooting him, and he turns around almost immediately. A little bit of a pain here. I'll work on trying to make it a little bit faster. See that, uh, see how he shot me? And he was quite a distance away from me. Uh, he didn't get me because I uh, retreated, but uh, that's my strategy for the boss because he's faster, and even if you're in the aura of the Dark Storm, uh, he'll still get you, and uh, you can't outrun him. Now, maybe with the other units you can outrun him, but nothing is uh, powerful enough um, that can shoot and move. Technicals with anti-air just really don't do too much to him, so uh, this is probably the best thing. And uh, he moves, and he moves pretty quickly. I mean, Nick is pretty quick, but uh, you got to... So I think that this is a good strategy because... It doesn't take that much time to kill him. It's just it's just a little monotonous to uh, you know keep running from him. Uh, but uh, it works. So now here, I uh, decided that I, I thought I was completely out of time, and I tried to uh, clear this, and I knew I was getting low on on time on the base, so I, I purposely took damage on my Nick. I can clearly come in here and not take any damage on my Nick. Did have enough time to, to attack again and uh, clear the base, but uh, literally we're down to seconds, I think, on the uh, sector uh, goal base. And for whatever reason, this happens from time to time where everything just goes on to Ruby, even though Ruby is not on, and everything just starts moving forward. I, I have no idea. Um, something about the way I click maybe because I don't know why it does that but it does that from time to time and sometimes it's uh, in a uh, a base where once something moves you're going to take some damage so I hate the fact that it does that it's a glitch I think that needs to be repaired anyway I uh, hope this was helpful I'm going to try to do a better one uh, that will be quicker and, uh, but in the meantime, I've got this one out there. Have a good one. See you next time.